welcome to our news channel please subscribe to the channel thank you hello friends good morning and welcome the headline of our news here says there will be no governor in Imu state should supreme court fail to review her judgment okay guys this is coming from the ex-deputy governor of Imo state um, like I said the other time, I think uh, there's a big trouble going on in Imo right now. And uh, there's a high level of confusion in Imo state. Uh, because the Imo, Imo, uh, Imo light said they voted for Emeka Hedioha. Why uh, other people said they want uh, Hope Uzodima to be in the office. Now, the ex-deputy governor of Imo state, Honorable, uh, Honorable Engineer Gerald Irana, has said that there will be no governor in Imo State if the Supreme Court fails to obtain her January 14 judgment delivered in favor of Senator Hope Uzodima of the All Progressive Congress (APC) for the March 2019 Imo State general election in 2019. Being part of a recorded audio statement of Honorable Engineer Gerald Irana, Supreme Court sacked Deputy Governor. At the awareness creation meeting held in the office of Professor Pat Utobi in Victory Island, Lagos, with civil society members on Tuesday, 4th February 2020, Rana stated that we have audio evidences of how the DSS was calling members of the tribunal and the appeal court, giving them instructions on what to do, and we are ready to tender the conversations between the director general of the SSS and some of the judges involved. So this matter is survival of democracy. The country, I think, the country is uh, is threatened. N not only the country, not only the state. I mean, the whole country is threatened because if this is going on in our judiciary, judiciary, I think uh, there's something wrong. He also said, let me just give you an instance to what the senior advocate reads. If you look at what Senator Hope Uzodima presented to the tribunal upon which the Supreme Court of Nigeria gave their judgment, by tomorrow we will be publishing boot by boot result presented by Senator Hope Uzodima in this day newspaper. Now, if you look at number 69 on the table he presented, he have we have a total of 492 registered voters. Senator Hobu Zodima gave to APC 819 votes. These things were in record of the tribunal. Were in record of the tribunal. He gave himself 819 votes out of 492 registered voters. Registered voters not even accredited, not even PVC collected, and then awarded seven to the PDP. That is 334 vote more than registered voters in that polling unit. Now, you go to another polling unit among the 13 or 388 polling units. Number 285 on the table presented by Senator Hope Uzodima, we have 449 registered voters, out of which he gave the APC 780 votes and gave PDP 4 votes and you have... 335 over voters in that particular boot. Look, I don't want to continue with this, but if you look at the summary of the voting patterns, Senator Hope Uzodima got average of between 12% and 15% of vote in other polling units, but when you come to result he presented, he had 98% of vote casted in those 388 polling votes including my constituency where he couldn't win house of assembly he couldn't win election including his excellencies the governor's village of mbutu where he defeated his excellency and his excellency couldn't score up to 10 vote and he scored 800 and something vote so if you look at this the supreme court of nigeria did did not and let me even say this they never believed that we would find out but let me say one thing, we have records of fighting. When we were at the National Assembly, the then President Jonathan wanted to detect to us on who will be the Speaker of the House. We said, no, you cannot. He addressed us and we said, you cannot. And we defied his order and voted and it was 
televised. This, I'm telling you, is the seventh house, 2011, when Tambowal was the speaker. So, we were at the National Assembly then. So, when we have history of struggle in our blood, so we are not coward. We are defeated in civil war. Our place was destroyed, but we are alive today. A day before this judgment, they brought army, brought police from Enugu, brought from Port Harcourt, brought Mopo from everywhere to Imo State. But we told our people, let's hear the judgment. And we have heard the judgment, and we believe that we have window for redress. If they refuse to do that, they will not be governor of Imo State. They won't be governance in Imo State. We are crying to the whole world to hear us, and we are appealing to the cons conscience of fair-minded, spirited Nigerians and all over the world to rise up and protect democracy. Finally, the man called Senator Hope Uzodima had never won an election before, and I can tell you this. When he went to the sen Senate, I was running for House of Reps, and he, the Senate, it was our vote he lost in his federal constituency. He had four local government areas in his federal constituency, and I had three. It was a vote that made him to win. But to show you, but to show you that we are not lying, there was a rerun election in Imo State two weeks ago in his federal constituency, the Olu Osu Oru East Federal Constituency. He is from Oru East. His candidate lost, and the PDP candidate won in his own constituency, even as a sitting governor. You see, the momentum of his victory at the Supreme Court would have made his candidate to win. We will not legitimize this illegality. Among other things, help us to insist that those judges must repeal themselves. Help us to escalate this fact. Let Nigerians see the fact. We will be happy when Nigerians see the fact and the Supreme Court says all these things you have said we have heard but we won't do it. Then we will, we will now go home and say Buhari rule other part of Nigeria but hope will not rule us. I hope I am not making threat. But I am telling you that democracy is under threat in Nigeria. Okay guys, this is coming from uh, the ex-governor of Imo State, Engineer Gerald Irani. He said that uh, there will be no governor in Imo State if the Supreme Court failed to obtain the January 14 judgment delivered in favor of uh, Hope Uzodima. Okay, guys, uh, like I said, eh, as you can see here, I think uh, there's a lot of trouble going on in Imo State. And he even mentioned that if the Supreme Court fails to, yeah, he said if they fail to obtain the judgment that Buhari will only rule other part of the country, you know, saying that uh, Imo State, what he actually means here is that Imo State will not be under Nigeria and hope Uzodima cannot rule Imo State. All right. So, guys, what do you think about this? Kindly hit on the comment section of the video and drop your thoughts concerning this story. Thank you.